a little baby goat here came to our shelter from an owner that needed to surrender her. She lived in the city where goats weren't allowed, but she was trying to help this little baby goat. She felt bad for her because she was blind. She had actually gotten her from a large factory farm that had hundreds of goats, and she was kind of the runt who was just stuck in a corner and really wasn't getting a good quality life there, and thankfully that person was nice enough to take her out of that situation. Um, so she brought her to us, and we did an exam on her right away to see what her health was like, and aside from being blind, she was actually pretty darn healthy and super, super friendly. So um, we had her at the shelter for maybe two or three weeks, um, just kind of helping her gain weight and grow up a little bit. And then I thought, you know, I know somebody who has goats who's adopted goats from us before. So I contacted Mandy and said, hey, I have this really cute, friendly little goat that you should come meet. I think you might like her. Maybe you know somebody. <laughs> I think that's, that's what you that's said. That's what I always you say. you know anybody that and, needs. Right. <laughs> so she and her husband came in like the next day and I think instantly, instantly. fell in love with this little peanut Instantly. Here. Well, when we first brought her home, we kept her in a dog crate in the house and then would take her outside um, with us when we were home. And just uh, getting her familiar with following sound um, was our first big challenge. And she would get very lost and, and just do a lot of circling, which, you know, she did at the shelter too when we went to meet her. So it was probably three days, I think, after we adopted her that um, we had Kirkin donated to her to, to keep her company, and that made a huge difference. Um, and, and since then it's just learning about little things like not changing anything in the environment for her and when you do make them very small gradual changes just so that she minimizes the opportunity to get hurt at all. But having a friend has made a huge difference for her. She follows the, the bell which is, was recommended to her by so many people. You know, realistically it didn't take her very long to fit in here and then now we're just kind of learning fun little things like we put a bale of bedding out and that's something that she can climb on and she loves to climb on because she's got all of the normal goat instincts. She wants to be up high, she wants to climb on things, she wants to run around and be goofy. She's got all those instincts, but it's been fun to find things we've been able to do for her to give her a more normal life and to be able to really exercise some of those instincts that she's got. So I think, uh, I think that she will continue to just do better and better here and she's been a great addition. We feel very lucky to have her.